Um, hello and welcome to Classics Confidential. Today we are in the Euro Museum at the University of Reading and I'm talking to one of the conference organisers, Dr Sonia Nevin, um, about her project, uh, Animating Greek yeah. Vases. So tell us about the project and how you became involved. I think it's just, uh, it's been a really super project and I suppose it's it stemmed partly from uh, our, in, my involvement in, in the Ewer Museum, I really do like this collection and uh, the project with the animations is largely, I must admit, it's, uh, it's actually my, um, my husband, not myself, who makes the animations. And so the technical aspect. The technical aspect is very much his skill. <laughs> and, and you provide the classics. <laughs> that's pretty much it, that's pretty much it. And we both really loved, uh, initially we, we were looking at uh, the uh, Exequius Achilles and Ajax farce, and we thought uh, we'd made a couple of very uh, just small, fun animations together, and it was then we had this idea of maybe using uh, the scene on the vase to uh, create the animation, and it just uh, worked so nicely to see it uh, come to life. And we thought, yeah, this should be this should be going on in museums. People should see the vase and see the animation together, uh, or see the animation when they're thinking about Achilles and Ajax. And so we presented uh, some of this material uh, at a museum conference in uh, University College Dublin. Uh, this is a few years ago now. And uh, the keynote speaker for the conference uh, was uh, Dr. Amy Smith, who is a uh, curator of the Year Museum. And uh, straight away she just thought, well, we have to do something with this. And uh, uh, that really helped to uh, give it some more, some more uh, impetus. Uh, it was, it experienced a bit of a, an interesting transition when it came to, uh, to the Ewer Museum, where there is really a, a super emphasis on outreach and work within the community. Yes, because of course you draw in local, local schools, which I wanted to ask you about. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. That's been really super. So, uh, as well as people enjoying animations when they come in, this was an idea about, yeah, absolutely drawing in school groups instead of them uh, um, just watching the yeah, animations. Yeah, so passive, That's right. you know, looking at an That's object. They, they got more uh, involved in, in putting mm -hmm. uh, the stories together. Uh, so there's two schools, smashing schools in Reading, uh, and it was uh, it was them uh, in uh, Kendrick School and in Maiden Early, uh, where they put together uh, these out of hours classes where they came into the museum. We went to see them at school, uh, and the, the, the teenagers were absolutely super. They were really concentrating on looking at the vases yeah, in real detail. This is a great thing about these projects. Yes. Uh, you, you really focus in on that's issue. right, that's right, you can't just go, oh there's a vase, that's <laughs> nice, and off you go, yeah. <laughs> that's right, you, you, they, they really got much more involved in thinking about the character of what they were seeing, thinking about the details, uh, and a sort of projection uh, of what might happen if there was movement, so they created storyboards based around uh, the scenes that they had on the vases, and it, and it was these that got transformed. So they were very actively involved. Which they did is really wonderful. Were. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. You know, yeah. Hopefully, they remember it as a good experience of. of I think so. Activity. Yeah. I think so. I think so. That was really that was really very nice, and it's in fact, um, it was the animations were very uh, successful. The teenagers were really pleased with them. Uh, they got shown. Uh, in Westminster oh, as wow. part of um, an Arts in Parliament programme. Really nice. Wonderful. So, you know, classics conquering the world. Absolutely. <laughs> good to hear. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And it's been really nice to hear feedback uh, that they're now online mm -hmm. and people use them in the classroom. They use the Clash of the Dices video, uh, but also these other ones to have a look at them. Yeah. And 
even even you know even the really tiny ones respond quite nicely yeah. to them, but even adults too. Yeah, because I think we are such a visual culture, aren't we? So having moving images, you know, helps draw a new audience um, to these wonderful vases. I think that's right. I think that's right. And anything that makes you think twice about what you're looking at, or even if you think. Oh, I think I'd have done a different story. <laughs> so, you know, so much the better. Indeed, indeed. Um, talking about, uh, we've talked a lot about, uh, you know, the Achilles at Ajax uh, vase, uh, but you've also done another one with um, the Open University, the yes. institution called The Cheat. Yes. Um, tell us about this one. This is uh, an absolutely uh, super project. Uh, this was one of the Open University study units, mm. open access for the public, you know, really Yes, nice. for the uh, Olympics. <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah. And it was, um, Aron Alzola was mm. putting together this, uh, this module, <coughs> excuse me, um, the, open, uh, the Open University study unit, uh, the ancient Olympics, mm. bridging past and present. And he had uh, been familiar with some of this material and thought it would be really lovely to include some of it. Uh, so I, I actually quite like uh, a bit of uh, ancient religion, so I wrote some uh, text for uh, the page about, um, about sacrifice and games, uh, and um, the animator for these projects, Steve Simons, he created the cheat um, to go in because it features, uh, it features uh, a, a race. So you actually have quite a small piece of that vase. So if you were to see it, you know, again, you might, amidst the collection, you might see it and go, oh, there's some sport, and on you go. But when you see it and focus on it so much, you, you really get a greater sense of, 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 what, um, of what that piece is about and how it might have been in a greater sense. Mm -hmm. And it makes a really lovely teaching resource, you know, whether you're in higher education or you have uh, teenagers or children, really nice to see a single athlete uh, transformed into a whole load of athletes racing. It gives you a really nice sense of, uh, of the vase, but also of um, the, the importance of athletics in antiquity. Uh, so you've done um, more than just these two vases, this is actually an ongoing project. Oh, that's right, yes. The, the Year View project, which was done with the schools, went very well. And as a result, uh, the Arts Council have in fact kindly funded it to run again. Uh, this has been uh, run as a slightly different project, in some ways um, a more technical project. So there is in fact going to be new animations made and they're actually going to be used for an iPad trail around the museum. Oh, so fantastic. they relate to different cases and people will be able to move around uh, the museum uh, with the iPad uh, and see the different vessels. And oh, fantastic. The wonders of technology, absolutely, right? Absolutely, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And three different schools involved this time. Uh, so there'll be uh, quite a few more mm. animations to go with that. But it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing project. Even beyond that, um, this is something that will carry on because you know, it's such a fantastic thing. Yeah, I think it's, it's a great example of how we can use technology to educate people about ancient Greece and Rome, um, you know, which is what we want to do. Absolutely, yes, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I think what's nice about it is that the technology is not getting in the way yeah. of, of the artefacts. The artefacts remain the focus. Mm. If anything, I think they encourage people to see the artefacts. I love the idea of people uh, seeing them at home, and then thinking, okay, I'll go and see the real thing. And then if you see them again while you're there, yeah. so much the better. But I don't think they compete. I think they no, work they so nicely together. I think they complement. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Well, it's been a real pleasure talking to you, Sonia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed it too.